Hey y'all, welcome back to VW Family Farm. My name is Andrea and we caught a really cool moment here on our farm on video the other day. Uh, it happens a lot around here, but it definitely does not happen a lot on film. So we wanted to share that with you guys. I wanna warn you um, that it is a live birth. So just be warned of that if you're sensitive to that or if young kids are watching and you'd rather them not see that. But uh, what better way to learn about life than on a farm, right? So here goes. So that was so awesome. So awesome to see her uh, become a mom again and it go pretty well. And then uh, we want to, we have to always do some things to the piglets, take care of them, find out what they are, all kinds of things that come with having piglets and raising pigs. And she showed out a few times in the last few days. Her temper came out and her protective mama and uh, she she came after me and Emily a couple different times when we were out there having to do some things so she actually that's being a pretty good mama uh, we want her to let us do things that we need to do but at the same time that's what keeps piglets alive is a good mama so uh, she's doing really well then we also wanted to bring you over here to our pig pen where we have big mama big daddy and short tail at the moment which is our another breeder sow um, I wanted to show you how big Big Daddy is. He has gotten huge. You're going to see in this clip how big he is in perspective to Lane, who is our 18-year-old son who is over six feet tall. He's a pretty strong, big, muscular dude himself, and Big Daddy makes him look like a shrimp. So if you've been following us for probably the last year, we went out to Oklahoma and made a trip out to Kevin and Rachel's at Hidden Heights Farm and we picked up a new breeder boar for our farm and they had already lovingly named him Dot. The name has stuck, that's still his name. And so he is doing great. I know a lot of you guys wanna see him from time to time. So I wanted to give you a little peek at him today. He's doing really good. He's actually living in the same pen with a Mangalitsa sow that we got from Justin Jeremiah at Roots and Refuge and a little black Mangalitsa feeder pig. Um, they have grown tremendously since they've been here. They're thriving on um, just everything. They're just thriving and growing. So Dot's purpose here on our farm is to be another breeder boar, like I said. We hope to have breeder pairs available sometime in the near future. We don't have an exact timeline, so keep watching our videos and we'll definitely put it out there. Uh, we've got Big Mama and Short Tail, our two sows that are not related. And then we'll have Big Daddy and Dot that are not related as well. So they're all unrelated. Um, it'll be a great setup to be selling Old Spot pairs for breeding because Old Spots are just a tremendous 
excellent pig for raising for pork. Uh, their meat is excellent, they have a good temperament, they're easy keepers, just they have so many pluses. And I know us, as well as we've talked to lots of other people that have looked into them, they're just a really great choice. And they do get large pretty quickly. In fact, I wanna go show you some right now and you'll see what I mean. So then out here, out front, this is where we have our old spot feeders. There is actually five of them right now. There was 10 and we just took a load in the last couple of weeks to the processing place. So we'll be stopped back up on pork right away. These that you're about to see are only about six months old and you're gonna see how good they look, how big they are, and we're just thrilled with them. They grow off so well in a short amount of time, which in the long run does equal less time that you're having to put in them, less feed, quicker turnaround that you are uh, gonna have pork and things in your freezer as opposed to having to wait like a year, year and a half as opposed to some of the other breeds. We can usually take them to be processed at eight months old. And finally, I wanna take you to the back. We have a pen back there, literally in the woods where we raise as many feeders as possible. And the goal is to have mixed groups like Old Spots and our other breeds that we're raising um, all mixed up back there together. But for the moment, we went and purchased 15 basically coals from a show pig farm, a huge show pig farm here in Arkansas. So these that you're about to see, they may have hernias, they may have like a knot on their leg, things like that. That's the reason we were able to purchase them. This place we purchased them from is famous. Uh, they're world renowned for raising show pigs. And so you're more than likely not gonna go get one that has no flaws for a really reasonable price, I'd say. Uh, you need to go there if you're buying show pigs, which we are not, we're raising feeders. But a lot of the things that make the show pigs what they are to, today, um, the big hams on the back and the stocky build, they almost look like little bodybuilders, that has been achieved through a lot of selective breeding, which is not all a bad thing. There's great qualities to the heritage pigs. Uh, that's why we raise old spots, we love those, but there's also some perks to some of the traits that they have bred into show pigs. And so what we are hoping is to make a good cross out of the show pigs, which are like a Hampshire, Berkshire cross. You're gonna see them in just a second. And cross those with some of the great characteristics of the old spots and just see what we get. If you've been following us for a bit, you know we tried that, we raised up a female, we picked her out. She was one of, of many that we had the last time we did this. We've done this one other time when we went and bought a load of pigs. And then it came time for her to go in with the boar and some younger pigs chased her just for a few minutes and pigs have a stress gene and she wound up dying. I will link that video where I tell the whole story here, but uh, we thought for a bit, we thought that's a bad idea. Let's don't do that again, all this, but uh, we talked to some people and while that can happen, it's not like it's gonna happen every time. So we're giving it another go. We're gonna give it a shot and uh, you're gonna see some of those. There's a, there is one female in there. I don't want to um, point her out today because I'm not sure yet if she's gonna be the one, but we're thinking that we found the one that we're gonna keep. And so we will be doing some crossing. We will always have pure old spots because that is our number one favorite for homestead pigs. But we're just experimenting. In fact, we're just having fun and uh, trying to bring something good to our farm and to the market and, and just enjoy it while we're doing it. So.
So that is an overview of what is going on in the pig world here on VW Family Farm. Uh, we just love pigs. They're our first animal, homestead animal we raised. We know a lot of people save those for last and people will tell you don't get pigs. Do not get pigs right off the bat. Start with rabbits or something easy like chickens. And while that may be the right path for you, I don't want you to be discouraged from getting pigs. Pigs are our favorite animal to raise um, here besides cattle. We love them both probably equally, but they have been great for us. They have built this farm. Um, raising pigs and selling holes and halves has been fairly easy for us to do because we were doing it anyway for ourselves and we had too many being born here for ourselves and it made this farm what it is. It generated some income to either buy more animals, buy feed, whatever the case. So don't be discouraged. If you want pigs, I say go for it. The one advice I would give you is be prepared before you go pick them up. Don't think you're gonna come home and stick them in a little dog pen or some cattle panels with no hot wire. If you think it's a little too much, you went a little too extreme on fortifying their shelter, you're probably good. But if you think you're just gonna slap something up and call it good, they will make a fool of you and you will wind up chasing them all night long, maybe never finding them all. So I don't want that to happen to you guys. We'll keep you posted if we wind up having breeding pairs for sale or if these crosses work out and we wind up having breeding pairs of those. Stay tuned for that. We'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching and God bless.